Hi, it's Emma Nargo. Today I'm doing a new collective try on haul, but unlike the last one, um, this time around I'm trying out new brands that I have never tried before. So I got something from Jaded London, I got something from I Saw It First, I got something from Missy Empire, and finally I got something from Nasty Gal. So without further ado, let's get into it, because I'm so excited about this one. So we're gonna start out with Jaded London. I got one thing from there. I only got one thing since the items are a little more pricey, but the items are also super cute and super unique. They're not like a lot of the other generic fast fashion um, stuff. So the item in particular that I got is a unitard. I absolutely fell in love with this. I love the print. I love the, all the different colors. I just think it's gorgeous. I got it in a size large, which I believe was the biggest size. As a whole, they don't cater to plus sized women a lot. Um, a lot of the stuff only goes up to a L. So I wanted to point that out. But the L fits me pretty good. It does have stretch. However, it's a little bit short. So I actually ripped a little hole in it down here. Okay, so you can see right there I ripped about a finger sized hole because I was bending forward and this just stretched too much and this, uh, the sewing ripped. And that does happen to me with unitards like this where they have a zipper going down the back and some stitches down the back because when I bent over um, it's just gonna get stretched too much and the sewing is gonna reap. But it hasn't ripped any more than what you saw. So I think that's the max and I think I'm just gonna leave it. Because I can re-sew it and it's gonna be fine. But as soon as I bend over it's gonna rip open again. So I'm just gonna live with it. For reference I am 5'10". So it is a little tiny bit on the short side. But I must say otherwise, I love it and I'm totally happy with my purchase. It's not see-through and the fabric and the colors are just beautiful. And I love the little neck up here. It's not a turtleneck. Um, do you call this a crew neck? I don't remember. But it's like a mini turtleneck. It looks very nice. And I love that it has a little bit of a short. And it's just a beautiful and unique piece. And all in all, I am super glad that I got it. Okay, so next up, let's do Nasty Gal. I got two things from there. So first of all, let's talk about this belt. I have been wanting a coin belt like this ever since I saw it on Boohoo's website. But unfortunately it sold out and they haven't restocked it or anything like it. But I found this one on Nasty Gal, so I snatched it up. And this one just exactly fits around my waist. As you guys know, I do have a larger waist. Um, this one just exactly fits. And I must say I'm really happy with this. It looks beautiful. I haven't had any troubles with it. And I really think this is a good buy. Then I also got this um, bodysuit. Because bodysuits are super trendy right now. And I have been looking for some. But I want some that have um, some coverage over the boobs. And as you can see this one is mesh throughout most of the body. But it is covered at the boob area. This one is in a size large, and this one, unfortunately, the fit is not perfect. It's doable, I can wear it. It's just not 100% on point. First of all, the cups are too small, which I knew that was gonna happen. Whenever I buy um, body suits or anything that has cups in it like this, I know the cups are gonna be too small. It just... It is what it is, but also the length of the bodysuit is a little short, so it sits pretty high on me, like pretty high up. It sits very high up my ass crack, basically. It's only a tiny bit uncomfortable, and since I'm gonna wear it with a skirt or with pants or shorts or something like that, it doesn't really matter. But just to let you know, this is not on the, on the long side, so if you're tall like me, now you know. It does have adjustable straps, which I like. Because I like to pull my straps kind of tight because I need the support. And when you see me wearing this in the try-on section, I am wearing a strapless bra underneath it. I think that looks really cute. I would totally wear it like that. Also, I'm wearing shapewear underneath it, so that's why it looks completely black. But actually, it's just mesh, 
so if you were to wear this without anything underneath it, it would show your skin through. Also, I just wanted to say that Nasty Gal, I don't understand the appeal. Like, I was looking through Nasty Gal, trying to find something I wanted to buy. It was so hard for me to find something I wanted. And I finally settled on this and the belt, but that was it. Like, I looked through a lot of that stuff and it just didn't appeal to me. And I think the name of this site is really weird because you would expect at least in my mind, you would expect something more sexy and more daring. But Nasty Girl is basically like H&M. They have a lot of flowy dresses and cute tops and basic pieces. I don't, I don't understand. I was expecting something completely different. So whereas I would totally shop on Jaded London again, I don't really see myself going back to Nasty Girl. It just didn't appeal to me. So now I'm going to show you what I got from I Saw It First. And I got a few things. I got this really cute t-shirt. So this is kind of a dupe for the YSL t-shirt. So instead of saying YSL, um, Yves Saint Laurent, it says uh, Ye Saint West. And I just love this shirt. I love that it's that kind of... YSL vibe. I love that it has this beautiful kind of khaki color. And this one is definitely not a tight-fitting t-shirt. Um, I got it in a size medium and it fits kind of loosely on me. But yeah, this is beautiful. The cotton is very nice. Then I got this belt. I actually was looking at this belt on Missy Empire's website, but they only had it in black and in like a really weird brownish orange color that just wasn't appealing to me. But then I saw they had it in white on um, I saw it first. So of course I went ahead and snatched that up. I love the kind of geometric um, little, what do you call this? Closure thing in the front. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm tired. It kind of looks like Fenty or Fendi or you know something. It looks kind of designer inspired. And this one is big enough for my waist. I wear it in the second or third hole. So I also got these sunglasses. Now, big round sunglasses are usually not my cup of tea. I don't really think they do much for my face. That's why you don't see me wearing them. But the model had them on and they looked amazing. And she also had this um, sunglasses chain on. And that's what really sold me. I love the brown with the brown sunglasses chain. I just think it's gorgeous. I do think these are a little bit too big for my face. I would want something a little smaller, but I do really like them and I really love this chain. I think it's beautiful. And finally, from I saw it first, I got a pair of heels. And I have actually been trying to cut down on the amount of shoes that I buy because I have enough shoes, but I could not resist these. Look at this. Isn't it so gorgeous? It really reminded me of the new Fenty um, pointed heels and that is why I got it and I love that it's just a simple black color without anything going on. Now the heel is very tall, these are pretty uncomfortable so I would wear these um, to a party where I'm gonna be sitting down a lot. Um, these are definitely not something I would wear um, anywhere where I'm gonna walk a lot at all. Like these are just for sitting down and looking cute, but it is really beautiful. I love the pointed um, toe. I think it looks so good. Makes your feet look really, really like slender and just, it looks awesome. And I got these in a US size 9 and they fit true to size. Finally, I have Missy Empire and I'm gonna talk about these leggings first off because these leggings are a huge fail. This is available in either small medium or medium large. I got medium large and these are just horrible. Like they don't even remotely fit. Like the fit is so off, it looks horrible. Like first of all, it's cropped. It goes like halfway up my calves. And it's really tight around my calves because this is like an angle seam. So it's not supposed to stretch to a calf size. So it really 
cuts into my calves and it just it's really uncomfortable also the waistband is so weird because it goes up far enough on the stomach but it's really low in the back and as you guys know I do not have a big booty so like the fit on these is just completely off and also they're so sheer they're so so sheer these are terrible terrible now I think these were only like five pounds but I was expecting something better honestly the only reason why I'm not returning these is because it would be more expensive for, more expensive for me to send these back with the postage than to just keep them but yeah I, I don't like these however Missy Empire saved themselves with this one I love this shirt so this is the Chanel inspired um, little cropped button up shirt so on this one it says Sunday it is beautiful I got it in a US size 8 and it fits but it's definitely on the smaller side it's supposed to be a little boxy and a little oversized but it fits me pretty form-fitting because I do have a larger chest. But I'm still able to close it. I'm still able to button it up. So no worries. And I really love the look I did with this. And I just think it's so much fun. I should probably iron this. But I haven't had the time. Um, but yeah, I really love it. It has functioning pockets. And it's, it's really cute. <laughs> So that is all for my new try-on haul. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please let me know down in the comment section below what outfit was your favorite. I liked a lot of the outfits in this one. I think my favorite was probably the Sunday outfit. But I also really loved the jaded um, unitard. So anyways, don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video. So take care. And bye-bye.